hopefully you understand what causes rusting. Let's have a look at how we can prevent rusting. The first point to talk about is to consider why rusting is a problem. The key point is that iron oxide, and remember iron oxide is rust, is much weaker than iron. If you have a car made out of iron, it's strong, it's durable, it keeps you safe in the event of an accident. If that car turns to rust, it becomes weaker. It doesn't keep you as safe in the event of an accident. So it's important that we consider how we can stop iron objects from rusting. We could, of course, not make it from iron at all. But remember, iron is a really good material to use. It's cheap, it's readily available, it's strong, and it's hard. So it's really still worth do it, worth using. Let's think about how we can stop things from made of iron from rusting. We need to look at barrier methods. And the idea behind a barrier method is it stops the oxygen or the water or both oxygen and water from reaching the iron. And there are three main ways to prevent that from happening, to stop the iron from reach for the oxygen or the water from reaching the iron. The first one we'll consider is painting. And there you can see a lovely shiny car that's protected from rusting by using paint. So the idea is we coat the car in a metal that, that's made out of iron in a layer of protective paint. What are the advantages of that? Well, the advantage, one of the advantages is it looks nice. It's relatively cheap to do, and you can get a variety of colors and finishes. The disadvantage, of course, is that the paint can scratch easily. And if you do scratch the paint on, uh, on a car, for example, that breaks the barrier, and that means that the oxygen and the water can now reach the iron, which allows it to rust. So if you scratch a vehicle, often you need to, to cover it up again. What about coating in oil? There you can see some gears on a bicycle. And of course, what we do is we coat the gears in a protective layer of oil or grease. So the iron gears aren't able to uh, make contact with the oxygen and the water as a protective layer. Advantage, but it's even better if the gears or the object needs to be lubricated too, so it helps it run more smoothly. The disadvantage, of course, is that the grease can come off uh, and you have to keep replacing it, or maybe it gets on your clothes. So it can be a problem, it's not a perfect solution. The last method that we're going to look at is coating the object in plastic. And here you can see uh, a chain link fence it's made out of iron and it's covered in plastic. So the plastic again acts as a layer that protects the iron. It stops the oxygen and water from reaching the iron. Advantages, well, it's flexible so you can bend it. Loads of colors and it's very durable. It lasts a long time. Disadvantages, of course, is that it's a thick layer. It actually adds quite a thick layer to the iron and it does look cheap. There's also a biodegradability issue on there as well, because plastics do last for a long time. So we've got three key methods for uh, stopping oxygen or water or both from reaching the iron. Three barrier methods. One is painting, another is coating it in oil or grease, and the last one is plastic coating.